so cold. When are we getting married? <laughs> wow, that's spicy. Do you have a sister? <laughs> or at least a cousin sister. <laughs> or do you guys ever fight? Babiko India Cup La Rahe Hoser. Do you regret choosing each other? Hey guys, Julia here. What up everybody? Shrey here. We are on top of a frozen river. Look. <laughs> okay, I tried my best. All in three. Guys, I can't swim, so if this something cracks and I'm in, I, I go down. Then it's Alvida from my side. <laughs> it's like bye bye. We were a bit scared of going on top of this. But then we saw the amount of people that were either walking or like ice skating. We were like, okay, let's just do it now. This might be our last video in case we fall down, but it will be documented. <laughs> anyway, what day is today? Today is Valentine's Day, guys. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody happy there. Happy Valentine's Day to you and, happy and Valentine's to you, Day to you as Thank well. You. All right, so we were actually thinking, should we do a cheesy video? And then we felt like, no, honestly, let's just do a Q&A around love and relationships. We just took the camera, it's super spontaneous. We came to this park. We have posted the box for the questions on Instagram. And here we are. Oh, the sun is out, nice. While Julia is taking out the questions, I want to say thank you to everybody. All of you who asked so many nice questions. Like somebody asked whether the chicken came first or the egg. What? Valentine's Day is the perfect day to answer that question. <laughs> My answer is that the egg came first, guys, because how could the chicken have come otherwise? <laughs> think, think. <laughs> what was the biggest problem you both had because of different cultures? Did we have a problem? Ooh, that's a very good question. I don't think we had a clash for the fact that we come from two different cultures, did we? We no. get annoyed at some stuff. I think they're quite small things. Like, I personally get annoyed because Shay is really obsessed with his food. <laughs> and it's really hard to make him try different types of food. Not just Italian food, but just different types of food. And I'm so open-minded. <laughs> and I literally can eat anything, so... What can I say, guys? Indian <laughs> food is the best. It is, it is, absolutely. Together with Italian food, I believe they yes, are the Italian best food. cuisines. Actually, I'm really lucky that like Julia is Italian because after Indian food, if there's one kind of cuisine that I can have, that's Italian food. Okay, this is in Hindi. I'm gonna try to read it. Babiko India kab la rahe ho, sir? Jaldi. Jaldi is the answer. Does it mean like, when are you gonna bring Babi to India, sir? Yeah! Yes, soon, guys. Soon, soon, soon. Okay, next question. Wow, that's spicy. Do you regret? choosing each other can you ask me this question when i'm not with julia <laughs> like right no, now don't. actually like i think we're really happy with each other no no we don't maybe you maybe we do like another q a like uh, 20 years or 25 years later <laughs> this question how the hell did he impress you <laughs> oh my god guys this is going to be a long long story <laughs> Well, I, we actually just shot the video about the five things that I love about you. So I think you should check that video out because that's how you impressed me, to be honest. What is better, love marriage or arranged marriage? Nothing is better, nothing is worse, guys. Uh, whatever works. Yeah, for us, it's a love marriage. It's gonna be a love marriage. I mean, for example, we have many friends in arranged marriages and it's absolutely fine. It works perfectly. They love each other. So honestly, I don't think we are the people that have to say what's best. Have you, Shrey, faced racism? Oh, good question. This is a really good question. Not really. I don't think there has been any, uh, thankfully, any like big or major incident. So the answer is no, actually. Who knows what might happen in the future, but for now, no. Actually, Germany is a really nice place for, in this uh, regard, guys. There's not a lot of racism so if you're considering moving to germany it's a yes strong yes from my side and by the way shrey will have to do a video telling you how you moved to europe next question what do my friends think of india Ooh. to be honest guys they are so fascinated they just can't wait to come to india with us they can't wait to travel to india with us they honestly think are more excited about the indian marriage rather than the european marriage all right next question have you guys ever or do you guys ever fight and if yes who says sorry first so guys we first fight a lot we, like we fight. any couple that tells you they don't fight that's are not. either lying 
Yeah, that's BS basically. Yeah, or they're super lying. Like, the who first... says sorry first is me. Yeah, he says sorry Next first. Next question. Wait, <laughs> but what I want you to say is like actually the most important skill for a healthy and long-lasting relationship is knowing how to fight. Honestly, knowing how to fight and dealing with the fight and dealing also with the aftermath, that's the biggest skill you need in a relationship. Baby, do you want to spend the rest of your life in India? I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. I still I still will have family in, in Italy, so I will still have to travel to Italy quite often, even more in the future when my parents will get older, but yeah, I wouldn't mind. Do you see my nose? It's red, it's freezing. Oh my God, the most asked question. All right. When are we getting married? All right, guys, I have to go now quickly to the toilet. <laughs> bye bye. My answer is one day. <laughs> soon, soon. Soon. No, guys, soon for seriously. Soon, soon. Currently, there is the pandemic and we can't really do much, right? So, in our case, people will have to travel from one country to the other so we really want to have an Indian wedding and an Italian wedding so as you can imagine it's a bit more complicated these days but it's gonna happen one day and you're gonna see it all I think it's for you do you have a sister or at least a cousin <laughs> sister why why is this person asking this question can we ask this is another really common question that I receive in my DMs and in the comments no guys, I don't have a sister. I have actually a big brother, so I don't think you would be excited about that. <laughs> How did we meet? Oh, we have a video for that. You should check it out. We're gonna put it here. Like somewhere. We, yeah, <laughs> somewhere here, but actually online. We met online. We are the result of online dating technology. Okay, this is from our one of our subscribers from Philippines. Ooh, hi! Advice that you can give to a girlfriend who's from a different nation and who's with an Indian? What is really important is to first understand the culture. So I think you should spend, or at least that's what I did, I spent the first months understanding and asking a lot of questions. Because if you just rush into assumptions for whatever he does and whatever he says, that is what is gonna bring a lot of conflicts. So at the beginning, let's say, I don't know, he was getting upset for things I was not understanding. For example, the fact that I was not giving him a glass of water as soon as he was coming visiting me and I didn't know what he meant. And then I asked him and I understood that it's, it's a custom. Just ask a lot of questions at the beginning and try to understand the culture, but each other's culture, of course, not just one way. Okay, then there's another one from somebody who says, I love a girl, but I don't know how to propose her. How should I propose her? I think I'm going to again move out of this frame. <laughs> just take a quick toilet break, guys. No, no, no. Bye-bye. No. How, how should I do it? Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 I'm running up. <laughs> I have, uh, uh, maybe I don't have the expertise to answer this question. It really depends on the person because I personally don't like grand gestures in front of the public. I like more like intimate settings and something that in this case, take notes, uh, he will have to craft himself, so something that he prepares, so not something that, I don't know, I wouldn't like, for example, that he will take me to a restaurant and get the restaurant to do everything and he's just sitting there. That's not my type, right? So it really depends. I think I'll, I'll give a short answer to, to your question as well. The answer is just do it, guys. <laughs> Oh, this is another really common question. Tips on what to do when your parents don't agree with your intercultural relationship. We have been really lucky and this is definitely not the case for us. Our parents have been 100% welcoming and understanding of our intercultural relationship. But I think what can help is communication, I think, in this case, guys. So just make sure that you communicate. If there are any differences, that you reason them out. And I think ultimately also in the end, like you have to believe in the power of your of your love and of your relationship yeah so just hang in there with your partner and then eventually and hopefully things will things will yeah. work out of course i understand we need to respect our parents and our relatives and our families but at the same time you are the one that has to make this huge choice for the rest of your life so you have to be 
you have to feel empowered to do that and if your parents at the beginning won't agree you need to really put in the effort to explain why it is a good idea why you love this person and to show actually also what is so good about, about this person eventually i think you know like when parents disagree around a relationship is because they have really good intentions they really want to protect you they want the best for you so if you show that the person that you have chosen is the best for you and that you're happy, eventually they're gonna accept it, trust me. How tough is for Shrey to learn Italian? Will you give oh, oh, oh. Would you give a few tips to learn it? I'll answer this question. Troppo facile. <laughs> <laughs> Troppo facile. Uh, okay, really quick tip on learning languages. You have to practice it every day for at least 20 minutes. You can use apps, there are so many apps around, but then you also need to speak the language. So you maybe, I don't know, maybe you can find online a tandem or someone you can practice with, but basically it needs consistent and daily effort. So, and yeah, and then that's it. You need to come to Italy and speak to the people and just use your hands a lot and they will understand you, don't worry. <laughs> Next question. Can my girl get a shout out tomorrow? I found her after 12 years. Shout out to Ashita, wherever you are. Ashita, hi! You're very lucky, your boyfriend yes. or husband or partner is super cool. Yes, and exactly. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Really happy for you. Life story of Shrey. <laughs> Next question, life story of Shrey. Oh my God. So, once upon a time. <laughs> No, 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 this is gonna take a long, long time, guys. Well, we will do a video, that's, yeah. that's, that's fine. We'll do this a video on this, so just keep watching us and one day we will definitely, and very soon we will do a video about my life story and also how I came to Europe. My life be like, ooh, ah, ah, ooh. <laughs> Next question. Baby, is Rahul Gandhi my relative? I don't think so, guys. <laughs> I know you will not believe it, but no. <laughs> I'm not connected. To that family guys i'm not i'm not that's it that's all i'm gonna say how did our relationship grow and how do we feel surrounded by your group of friends by our group of friends so how did well, our relationship grow really good question yes very good question our relationship grew through like many many fights many many like no, it's true, like we had to, like when we're very different now than we were when we just started dating. Yeah, what can I say? It's just like we spent so much time together that we've come to learn many things about each other. Some positive, some negative. <laughs> but yeah, I think actually now I, I feel even much, much, much closer to Julia than in the beginning. I think in the beginning it was more like just attraction. And now it's like really like deeper. All of what you said and also I have to say, this YouTube project is something that Shrey and I share together. And I have to say that working together on something actually made our relationship stronger. So instead of just being lovers, best friends, we are also now business partners. And I think this is really something that also has bonded us a lot. How do we feel surrounded by our group of friends? We love our friends. We are so lucky to have such a nice set of friends. Yeah, like we honestly have Shout out to all my friends and bros. Yes. We honestly have a family here, family in India, family in Italy, so we feel super lucky. Do you guys have any pets? No guys, not no. yet, we unfortunately. We really want a dog. I love dogs and I want to have a Labrador. And we both love Labrador, can you believe? Like, I think I discovered this just a few months ago that Shrey loves Labrador like me. It's a really big dog and it's a really complicated dog, so we can only have it when we have a house with a garden. The next question is actually from our friend Ivana from Travel Hi, Ivana. IV. Ivana, what's up? We miss you. You should check it out. Just honestly can't wait to visit you. So okay. the question is, what are some differences and some commonalities that yes, we commonalities. have in our relationship, yes. right? Yes. So differences we've already answered. The commonalities, I would say the Indian and Italian cultures, they're both very family oriented. So there's a really strong sense of family, family connection. When I go to Italy, like there's so many family uh, members of Julia that I meet and I just really feel like at home and it's the same for Julia when she comes to India and both cultures are food oriented so they love their food you know Indians guys we love our food but it's the same in Italy like they have such a strong culture around food whenever somebody comes to your home that you just serve them nice food whenever you meet up 
there's always some nice food. Yeah. So I think these are the two different uh, similarities that come to my mind. Anything from your side? Yeah, I think actually the fact that both cultures are actually really rich culturally. I think it's like minus nine or something. And last night it was minus 12. But to be honest, we are super happy. Normally we are not in Berlin for so long during winter, but of course this time we had to. And the fact that there is snow it makes it so much more bearable, like, right? It's just so lovely, the snow. All right, guys, I think we are freezing. We need to go back now, otherwise we're gonna become a piece of ice. <laughs> but anyway, we have received so many questions. Oh my God, right? It was so, so nice and we feel so bad, guys, that We've not been able to answer so many questions. Yeah. But maybe we can do a part two, right? Yes, exactly. Maybe this could become a format. Oh, wow. There are things falling down from the trees. Yeah. If you want this to become a format, let us know in the comments below. And also let us know how we should call it. Love Gurus, maybe? <laughs> no, I don't want to call myself Love Guru. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, happy Valentine's Day again. Nice. I hope you have liked the video. And I hope... All of those who are in a relationship, may your relationships keep growing stronger. Yeah. All of those who are single and are looking for love, may you find love. All of those who are single and are happy, may you keep being happy. And that's it. As always, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we we'll see you next time, guys. Bye bye. bye.